We are looking ahead this morning to the durable goods number that's out at 8.30 a.m. Economists are expecting a month-over-month -month decline in durable goods orders of half a percent. David, your thoughts on the macro story? Uh, look, the White House is trying to redefine what a recession is. What do markets expect? Well, yeah, I mean, the macro story doesn't look good. Obviously, we're seeing signs that the economy is slowing. We're seeing companies announce layoffs, hiring freezes. We're seeing unemployment claims go up. We're certainly seeing the housing market slow. But really, a lot of this is, is driven by inflation. But when it comes to the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, the Federal Reserve is not at war with inflation. The Federal Reserve is at war with the middle class. I mean, they manufactured this boom, right? The rich gets richer, and then they, capital gets misallocated. They engineer uh, the bust, and then the middle class gets squeezed. You were just talking about it earlier, that two-thirds of Americans can't even uh, afford to pay their bills each month. We saw this in Walmart's earnings. So I think the Biden administration is trying to run away from this. You're, I saw an op-ed by Elizabeth Warren this week already trying to blame the feds, already trying to blame others for what we're seeing right now. But this falls squarely with this administration. But I think we have a, need to have a bigger conversation. I think even Keith was alluding to this. At what role should the Federal Reserve play in our economy? Because it really is ridiculous, these boom-bust cycles, and then the middle class gets hurt along the way. So I still think there's trouble ahead, Maria, for markets.